Welcome back to Tech Tip Tuesday. This week we are going to take a look at how to run your material planning module by vendor. In Job Boss, underneath the Modules tab, the material planning module can be accessed through the material control functionality. So if I expand material control, we can see our material planning module right underneath there. Now, before I go in there, I want to highlight two different materials that I have created in my system and the different settings that they have. And the reason why is because I want to show you the difference as to what is going to be showing up in your material planning module when you run it in a specific way. So first we're going to go underneath system administration and into our material master file. And I'm going to pull up my material 43329, which is a door crossbar that I buy for inventory. Now, this door crossbar is marked as buy for inventory, and we can see that our primary vendor right here, where my mouse is circling, is Berry Bearing Company. If I jump over to my balances tab, we can see that I have a reorder point of 50, and I currently have zero of these on hand. Um, now, I'm going to bring up my next material. Those are the things that I wanted to focus on for this door crossbar. So I'm going to hit my new button here, and I'm going to bring up my material 725, which is going to be a dowel screw. Um, this one is also marked as buy for inventory. And of course, if you want it to show up on material planning, it does have to be marked as buy for inventory. Uh, we also have the same vendor, Berry Bearing Company. Now, if I go to the balances tab for this one, we're going to see that I do not have a reorder point in the system that has been set up, and I have zero of these on hand. Now, with those examples being shown, let's close out of material planning, and we will minimize um, or um, collapse system administration here. And we're going to go underneath, again, modules, material control, and into material planning. Once I access material planning, it looks like there's really not much that I can do from here. First, I'm going to hit my F12 key just to expand my screen a little bit more. Um, but again, it doesn't look like I can do much here. There's a lot of grayed out fields, um, and I'm clicking around, and there's nothing that's happening. The only thing that you can do at this point is start by choosing this button here that, if I hover over it, is called Define List. Define list, once I click that, is going to launch your define list window, and this is allowing you to search for materials in many different ways. We are specifically looking at material planning and running this by vendor today. So I'm going to go to my primary vendor dropdown here, and I'm going to select my primary vendor. And remember, we were looking at Berry Bearing Company. So I'm going to choose Berry Bearing Company. This time, I'm going to leave shortages only unchecked. So when I run this by primary vendor with shortages only unchecked, and I hit OK, what, what Job Boss is going to do is it's going to give us a list of all these materials here. And all of these materials must have a primary vendor on their material file marked as berry bearing to be able to show up on the list this way. Now, when I have shortages unchecked, that's going to result in all of my materials that have activity against them that are negative. Um, so in this case, let's see, if we click through here, we can see we have a cap screw that is being required by a job that's in the system. We have a demand quantity right here, and our projected balance is negative 300. So the reason that material is showing up is because we have a job that is demanding that material. Now, if you look at my door crossbar, that's the one we just looked at in the material file. This one had a reorder point set of 50. We have no, no demand against it. We can see that we have no demand, but it's showing up on this list, and it's showing up on this list because it is a material that we currently don't have any on hand of. Um, the same goes with our dowel screw. Now, if you remember, this one did not have a reorder point. So the point here is, is that if you run your material planning report, uh, by vendor without selecting shortages, it's going to show you all of your materials that have activity against them, which means that um, they are uh, assigned to a job and there is demand against them is what I should call it. And it will also show us materials that uh, do not have reorder points set, as well as materials that do have reorder points set. Now, if I go in and I select that define list button again, and I go in and I choose my primary vendor as berry bearing again. But this time I select shortages only. I want you to notice how this window, or not this window, but all of these 
um, or this list, I should say, this list here is going to reduce. And the reason why is because when I run this for shortages, it will be excluding materials um, that have the same situation like that dowel screw where they are marked as berry bearing, they don't have any uh, demand against them, and they don't have a reorder point. So running it for shortages only is going to result in materials that have hit the reorder point as well as materials that have a demand quantity against them in the system. That's all we've got this week for you in Tech Tip Tuesday. Look for another video coming your way soon. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you soon.